what is going on everybody Quaku here back with another video today for the 25 days of christmas videos coming up they're not going to be christmas videos but today i'm actually going to be showing you how to install the google play store on windows 11 so let's jump straight into the video and find out All right, so the first thing you're gonna do to get this thing to work is you're simply going to go over to GitHub. So just go to github.com. And of course, all the links will be in the description box as well as the blog post that I'm gonna make. And next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sign into GitHub because this whole method will not work unless you are signed in, it's part of the steps. So go ahead and sign in. And when you've signed in, uh, come back to the video. All right, so now that you are signed in, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to this page, which I have as well in the description box. And it is Majisk on Windows subsyst subsystem for Android, if I can speak. and what you do on this page is pretty straightforward. First thing you're going to want to do is why you need your GitHub account. Uh, you see I'm signed in there. You're going to want to click on fork over there. And if you click fork, uh, you'll see a bunch of stuff come up and it'll say your account. And then it'll say Majisk on Windows subsystem for Android. And it'll say forked from whoever it is, LLS poised uh, or posed. And then the next thing you're simply going to want to do is you're going to want to go to actions and then once you see actions you see that i've already done it once ignore that uh then you're going to want to hit the build wsa and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this workflow so i'll click run workflow and then if you scroll down a little bit you'll see this stuff here it says variants of g apps or google apps uh, should be none aroma super stock full mini micro nano pico tv stock and tv mini it's like the types of the forks of android that are out there uh what we're gonna want to pick is for these purposes is pico i haven't tested all the other ones but pico is the one that you want to pick so pick pico and hit run workflow now uh it says the workflow is going to be has been was run successfully and again you see it right there and that you see this yellow dot there aka the workflow is queued so when the workflow is in progress you see that starting to do things right there when it's complete it will have this green check mark here so we'll come back here uh, when it is complete and we'll move on to the next step but now that it is complete or it's rather working but I have one that's complete uh, you want to hit build WSA and you see that I already did this thing a couple days ago um, and then if you scroll down you'll see artifacts down here and basically these artifacts lets you pick uh, the file type or your operating system type. So if you're using ARM64, if you're using, I'm not sure if the M1 Mac uh, virtual, virtual box or what is it, VMware slash UTM uh, works with this, but if it does, it does. But for these purposes, this is installed only on a genuine copy of Windows 11 that has had no problems installing that you didn't have to do any tweaks to install it. So what you're gonna wanna do is for my purposes, I'm picking X64 cause I'm using an Intel chip. Uh, or an AMD chip if you have one. So you click WSA with Magisk, uh, G apps. Now, one thing I can say while this downloads is that the file size like you see is about 1.85 for that. Um, and when it finishes downloading, come back to this video uh, and then we'll move on to the next step. But before we get to the next step while it's downloading, I just got to say a few things. Uh, with this method, you want to make sure that if you already have the Amazon App Store and Windows subsystem for Android already installed, be sure to uninstall uh, WSA as well as the Amazon App Store and then restart your computer so it's fresh and clean because I had issues on my main computer installing this because I had Amazon App Store already installed. So be sure you delete those things, uninstall those things. Uh, restart your computer and come back and then do these steps. Otherwise, you may run into some issues. All right, so now that it is done downloading, what you wanna do is open up the file, uh, open it up wherever it is, wherever you saved it at. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna extract all. So what you wanna do is you wanna extract in a place that you'll remember where it is, obviously. So hit extract, and then you'll have the file opened up. So come back here once it's finished extracting. And when it's done extracting, your file content should look like follows. You should see pretty much exactly what I see here. Um, and what you're gonna wanna look for is this install.ps1. And like I said before, this is the part where 
If you have the Amazon App Store already installed, which includes the Android's the Windows subsystem for Android already installed, this step most likely will not work because what this does is it installs WSA with the Google Play Store and Google Play services with it. And for some reason, I had issues installing this thing uh, when I already had overlapping Amazon App Store stuff included on it. So now that you have everything extracted and everything pretty much set up getting ready to be able to be executed the one of the other things you need to do is you want to go into your settings of Windows 11 and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna enable developer mode or developer settings so type in developer and then here it is developer settings click that and then it says install apps from any source including loose files you want to check that off and then it's gonna say turn on developer mode you're gonna say yes and then just like that, you're going to have developer mode enabled. You can scroll down and see more, anything you want to tweak or whatever it is. But other than that, you're done with the settings. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up PowerShell and then run it as administrator. You're going to have this prompt pop up and hit OK. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in this here command. Then you're going to want to right click your install file you're going to want to run with PowerShell and then hit open and you're going to see it says do you want to allow PowerShell to make changes to the device you're going to say yes then it opens it up in administrator PowerShell and it starts working through its whole process you can see the process uh, completed successfully and it says starting an app so you're going to see this whole fast forwarded scene of it pretty much going through installing the subsystem for Android, including uh, all of the bits that you need for the Google Play Store already part of the process. So hit allow access and then let it go through its whole thing uh, until it's about done. And then if you see this prompt here pop up, uh, what you're going to want to do is just simply hit OK. So I'll jump back in when everything is good to go. So now that you have fully installed uh, Google Play and all the things Windows subsystem for Android, there's one more thing you need to do. And that is simply to open up uh, Windows subsystem for Android. You can just type in Android in your start. Uh, click this right here and then you want to just hit open and then you want to scroll down a little bit make sure diagnostic data is off and then also uh, turn on developer mode. Uh, that lets you on like share things on same devices on your network and here IP address you can hit refresh just to have it available if you want uh, I will keep it off and then last but not least you should have everything good to go so let's open up Play Store just type in Play Store and you see right there Play Store is now open hit open and let's see what happens let's see if everything worked well Play Store should just be fine and it'll tell you to sign into your device and everything like that and when I first set this up for myself on the other computer, uh, it thinks that I'm running a Pixel Pixel 5, a Google Pixel 5, uh, but it is really just your computer with everything running. Um, things run smoothly and pretty well. And so you see right here, uh, sign into Google Play. So I'll jump in as soon as I sign into Google Play. It says Android setup. So I'll go ahead and sign in real quick. And now that you see that I'm signing in, you just hit agree to accept Google Play services or Google services. And just like that, if I go full screen, you can see right there, it automatically resized and everything like that. And here it is. Here is the Google Play Store on Windows 11. Now there's one quirk with it, and that's that when you're trying to launch an application, you actually have to go back in and type in Play Store and start, at least for me, and then go over to your account icon over here. And then you go to My Apps and Games and you'll see your things installed. But other than that, everything is good to go. Google Play services is installed. Google Play is installed. So you, now you can do pretty much anything that uh, your Android device can do um, on your Windows 11 computer and not have to use the crappy Amazon App Store. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was useful to you all and take care.